Hello everyone and welcome. Thank you for joining me in the video today. So recently, a company by the name of eStar Music reached out to me and asked if I could review their student model clarinet. I told them yes, but only if I could give my honest opinion. Now, at the time of writing this video, this instrument actually only costs $110 on Amazon, and generally I'm pretty cautious about cheaper clarinets. So just how good is this $110 clarinet you can get on Amazon? Well, let's find out. All right, so here's the box that the uh, clarinet comes in, so let's get this open. Right, so it looks like right out of the box we've got some the famous Chinese white gloves. Uh, looks like we've also got a few other accessories, polishing cloth, cork grease, reed case, uh, some basic stuff, looks like some reeds in there. Well, that's cool, it looks like it comes with a clarinet stand already, so that's pretty handy. So let's open the case and see what we got. Right, and there we go. All right, and here it is, the E-Star Student B-flat Clarinet. Now, right off the bat, I noticed a few potential problems. Uh, the biggest thing I noticed was the uh, ring on the bell and on the lower joint are a little bit loose and they can be pulled off. Now, they're not terrible, uh, I don't think it's going to cause any problems, but it's just something I noticed. Another thing I noticed is the upper tenon on the upper joint. I noticed the, uh, the finish on it. It's a little bit rough. It almost looks like the tool they were using to lay that out uh, wasn't very sharp. Other than that, the bore looks pretty good. I don't see any burrs. Uh, the fin finish of the keys is also fairly good. The key corks look nice. Uh, the tenon corks don't look bad. I don't see any uh, manufacturing errors. Everything looks okay. So let's get a mouthpiece on it and let's see how it plays. All right, so just for fun, I put the stock mouthpiece on along with the stock reading ligature. So let's see how it plays right out of the box. <laughs> above that are a little bit flat. Uh, I think that could probably be improved with a bit of a undercutting on the tone hole, but that's fairly typical on clarinets, so I'm not going to really fault the instrument for that. Other than that, the instrument sounds fairly well in tune. Uh, not perfect, mind you, but uh, probably good enough for a student. kind of bugging me is that the uh, the ring height isn't quite set uh, right on the lower joint. Uh, that's generally something that different people prefer, different uh, heights on the rings. But originally I prefer them to be a little bit lower, so that's just me. Uh, other than that, the instrument feels fairly comfortable to play. The keys uh, seem to work great. Um, even spring tensions, uh, I don't feel any keys that are really jiggling. Uh, so it seems like it's a fairly decently built instrument. All right, so now that we heard how the instrument sounds, I'd like to talk further about the setup of the instrument. Now, I previously mentioned that everything appeared good on first glance, and after inspecting it further, I didn't find any other issues. I did a suction test on both joints, and I found them to seal pretty good. Not perfect, but good enough for a beginner instrument. Um, I tried bending some of the keys, and I didn't feel too much flex. I also tried uh, wiggling them around. I didn't feel too much slop in the action, so that says everything's set up pretty well. Um, again, the spring tensions feel nice and even. Uh, for the most part, the keys are fairly comfortable. I mentioned that the, uh, the rings are a bit high, uh, but that could easily be fixed. Um, other than that, everything else felt nice and comfortable. And overall, I think this instrument is set up uh, quite well, actually. Now, would I recommend this instrument? Well, that depends on your situation. Generally, for beginners, I would recommend something like a uh, student Yamaha, Selmer, LeBlanc, or Buffet clarinet, which will probably run you about $200 to $300 used. Now, does this instrument uh, hold up those instruments? No. But I think for somebody who needs just a beginner clarinet just to know if they're going to like the instrument or not, and they don't want to spend a lot of money, and they only, let's say they only have $110, and they do not want to get a used instrument whatsoever, I think this could actually be a pretty good investment. 
Uh, that being said, if you plan on getting this instrument, I would plan on upgrading the mouthpiece as these uh, generic ones aren't the best. And uh, you probably want to get some good reads, some like Van Doren or Rico. Um, but as far as the setup on this instrument goes, I think it plays actually better than some other instruments that I've gotten from China that cost way more than this. For example, my Chinese Berm System G clarinet, which cost $700, didn't even play this well. So I think for $110, this is actually quite a good deal. Uh, so thank you everyone for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it.